So, go back to Peter. Remember he had assets of uh, $150,000. He had income of $2,000 per month. And he was just in the middle there. He was sick, right? Uh, he, on that scale of 1 to 10, he was about a 5. So, and he had two pot. he went into the nursing home and he had two possibilities. Remember he has $150,000 and he could only supposed to have two. So he's got a lot of money he has to spend now. If he goes into the nursing home, uh, and pays on private pay, then at the end of one year, his $150,000 is looking a lot like about $25,000. If, on the other hand, during that year he was on mass health, his remaining money at the end of that year when he died, instead of being $25,000, was closer to $100,000. Next slide. Uh, now, there are two ways or two things that Peter could do with his money. Um, which, which are legitimate transfers and which could cause him to qualify for mass health. And I'm going to talk about both of those in detail. And by the way, when I started, I should have said, what, you know, one of the, 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 the subtexts here, one of the kind of the more, the thing to take away from this story is that what you have to do in these situations is do the math. Now, obviously, you're not going to do them if you're married because you're in the nursing home, you know. So she's not feeling great. But if you're the family, what you need to do is do the math, because there are some situations where even though you can qualify for mass health, you may not want to. But that's the result of, of doing the math. You may be, and we're going to show you some of those examples. So, one of the things that Peter could do would be to take some or all of his money and put it into a so-called D4C pooled trust. Has anyone heard, here heard of a D4C pooled trust? That you never heard. Most people have it. Um, uh, D4C is actually a little shorthand for a section of the United States Code. It's called 42 U.S.C. 1936P D4C. Um, I think that may even be in the book someplace. And, and, and what that section is, it's a section of the federal Medicaid law that says that there is this exception to, to, um, the, to the way the trust rules work regarding money that you may, have, you may have put in trust for your own benefit. In general, if you transfer money to a trust um, and the trustee has the right to give it back to you or to spend money on your behalf, and then you go and try to qualify for Mass Health, Mass Health will say, oh no, if the trustee has the discretion to give you back the money, the trustee is required to give it all back to you to pay the nursing home until all the money's gone, and then we'll qualify you for mass health. This is one of the, this is like the only exception, actually, if you're creating your own trust and you're funding it, the D4C pool trust. And what these trusts are, um, they are, they are administered by nonprofits. There are four of them in Massachusetts. Um, and the way it works is you transfer the money to the pool, pool trust, and then the, tr and these are all trusts or, or nonprofits that have been created <coughs> for the purpose of helping old and disabled, old and or disabled people. So their purpose is to help people, like people who are in nursing homes. And so they will use that money, uh, and they have the right to use that money, not to pay the nursing home, but to provide for all of the supplementary needs, any or all of the supplementary needs of the person who was in the nursing home. Anything at all. Um, and I guess, and I'll, and I'll use my one example here which a friend has, friend has heard me do this too many times, so she always laughs when I do this. So I, had, I was once doing one of these presentations, and a lady came up to me afterwards, and she had been taking care of her mother, and her mother was like 95, and the lady was like in her 60s. And the mother had started off with about $250,000, and she was in the nursing home, and she'd been there for a few years, so now there's 50000 left, fifty dollars or $60,000 left. And she came up to me and she said, this wouldn't apply to me, right? I only have fifty or sixty thousand dollars. And it's funny when you're doing only in nursing home land is fifty or sixty thousand dollars an insignificant amount of money. You know, in, in normal life, this is still a lot of money. And I said, "Oh yeah," I said, "It would be ideal for you to do this, right?" 
So she did. And, and so we took the money and we transferred it to, a, to the pool trust. And the mother immediately qualified for mass health. And the lady, the social worker, one of the social workers who worked for the pool trust met with her and with me. Because that's what they'll do. They'll, they'll meet with you to try to find out how they can use the money to help the person who's in the nursing home. So the lady was asking, she said, well, you know, you know we can use this money to, for anything that your mother might want. I said, she, you know, does your mother like movies? Because we could buy DVDs, we could buy her a flat panel, you know, a flat screen TV, we could do any of that. She said, oh, no, she's really, she's really pretty blind. She really can't do that. She said, well, what about music? Does she like music? You know, we could get, get her an iPod. We could get her any kind of music that she wants. We could do any of this stuff. We could get her, you know, plugs so that, you know, she's not bothering anybody else. Oh, no. Mom's really pretty deaf right now, too. Mom wasn't doing great, right? So she said, well, you know, is there any food that she likes? You know, because we could bring in food. We could have catered meals. We could have her go out. She really couldn't go out. I mean, she really was pretty sick. She was 95 and really bedridden. And she said, well, no, Ma, can't really go out. She said, well, are there any special foods that she likes? And the, and the woman said, oh, my mother, you know, we grew up, we grew up, we didn't have any money, you know, we grew up poor. And, but the, one, every once, like once a year, my dad would go out for lobster. And my mother loved lobster. And this lady said, well, you know, your mother can have lobster anytime she wants. Right? Anytime she wants. Now, the reason why I go through that more detailed story is that after I sent the notice of this presentation, I got a letter from somebody in Tisbury who said basically that she was definitely not coming to this presentation <coughs> and that as far as she was concerned, she would always pay her own way because she thought it was really unethical for anybody that had money to instead qualify for mass health. And I guess I just put it to you, was it unethical for this lady to take some of her mother's money, which was otherwise just going to go for five more months of nursing home care, and put it aside so that every once in a while she could have lost it. Was that unethical? You know, I mean, that lady who was in the nursing home, it wasn't like, these, these aren't welfare queens, you know. Nobody, like, says, oh, I know how I can cheat the system. I'm going to get Alzheimer's and go to the nursing home, you know. It, it isn't that situation. So anyway, that's the story. So, so the, the D4C can provide this pool of money, which can be there as long as the older person lives, to provide for their supplementary needs. Um, and, to the, and, and, and we can keep on going. And so it can pay for supplementary needs. Following the person's death, following the person's death, the D4C money has to be used, first of all, 25% of whatever is left over in that pool gets kept by the nonprofit. Uh, and, and, you know, they don't go out and have a wild party. They keep it, and they use it to provide for indigents who are disabled or elderly, right? So 25% of the money gets kept. The rest, to the extent that Mass Health has paid any money on behalf of the older person, um, and the, 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 to the extent that there's a bill, um, that pool of money repays that bill. And then if there's anything left after that, then that money can go to pay heirs or whoever was named when the D4C pool trust was created. So... That's how a D4C pool trust works. And Mary, in this situation, could literally put all of her money, or, or Peter, in this case, could put all of his money into a D4C today and tomorrow qualify for mass health, as long as he had less than $2,000 left. Next slide. Now, if Peter uh, um, had, had spent that one year on private pay, um, as we kind of estimated, at the end of that one year, he'd have about $30,000 left in the bank. Uh, if he had put all of the money into a D4C and, and was in the same bed in the same nursing home, this is, a, this is today's bed in today's nursing home, uh, at the end of that one year, if he had died, there would have been $60,831 left after the D4C had taken their 25% of the $150,000 and after they had reimbursed MassHealth the amount that MassHealth would have paid, which was $51,669 on Peter's behalf. So that's a substantial difference. Now, let's take the second thing that you can do with the money. And by the way, I know that this is a lot of material, and I know that there's a lot of math, and so kind of like the theme of this is, at the end of the day, you have to do the math. But I want you to see conceptually what you can do. The second thing that, you could, that Peter could do with his money, he was 82 years old, remember, 
is that he could buy an annuity with it. And as long as that annuity, uh, an annuity he would go to an insurance company, and as long as the annuity guaranteed had monthly payments, and as long as those payments were only going to be made during his actuarial life expectancy, a period no longer than his actuarial life expectancy, which he was 82 years old, and so that's about how long? Is that like four years? It's a fixed period. 83 payments. So. 83 payments, so about uh, about seven years. But but that that one didn't go for 83 because we couldn't go that. He needed more money, so it was a shorter annuity. It was a shorter annuity. Yeah. The, the annuity payments don't have to go for that length of time. They can go for a shorter period of time. Um, but as long as they don't go for any longer than his actuarial life expectancy, then the purchase of that annuity is a legitimate use of his money. If he therefore gets below $2,000, the next day after he buys the annuity, he can qualify for mass health. Now, the, the advantage of, of purchasing an annuity, if you're Peter, is that, well, not if you're Peter, because this is all the advantage, only shows up after he dies, right? The advantage is that after Peter dies, there's no 25% commission that gets paid to a D4C. All of the money that's left is, is really left for the heirs. Um, the disadvantage, though, is that there's no money that's available for Peter. Remember, one of the reasons why Mary would have put money in a D4C was so that during her lifetime, if she needed any supplementary things, the D4C would provide it. That the, the, if she had put all of the money into an, annu into an annuity, that wouldn't have happened. But let's see what happens um, uh, in, in, given these possibilities for Peter. So if Peter, once again, on private pay, at the end of a year, if he died, there would have been $30,000 left. With the D4C, there would have been uh, $60,000 left. With the annuity, there would have been $98,000 left out of his $150,000. And the main reason for the difference between the, look at the numbers, between the annuity and the, and the D4C is that there was no 25% commission that was paid at the end of that year uh, to the D4C. So, so as far as the heirs were concerned, if, if it appeared that Peter had a very short life expectancy and didn't need a lot of extra funds, the sensible move would have been to buy the annuity. As far as Peter was concerned, if you, th if you thought he was going to be living for a long time, so that at the end of the day, all of the money of his $150,000 would have been eaten up anyway, even at the mass health rate, then the sensible thing would have been to put it in the D4C. Um, 